individual genetic backgrounds will have a different uh, optimal dose of caloric mm. intake for longevity. And so, you know, for the typical genetic background, maybe it's 25% less than ad libitum. For a different genetic background, it might be 40% less than ad libitum. And for the rare genetic backgrounds, it might be ad libitum, right? Ad libitum meaning eat as much as you want. Yeah. So I think we just don't know whether or not it is the case that some genetic backgrounds are always going to be harmed by any level of caloric yeah. restriction. What we do know is that for a given caloric restriction protocol, there will be gen genotype dependent effects and some individuals will be harmed. Some are likely to benefit and some will probably see no change in lifespan. Yeah, I want to get your opinion on that because I, I remember reading that like if you overfeed a chimp or, or a gorilla, they partition more of it to muscle. They say relatively lean. We're humans, the same amount, you know, 10% increase in calories could lead to adipose storage. Hmm. Like we're more wired to store fat. Yeah. Else. I mean, certainly, and even within people, that's true, right? Mm -hmm. There are some individuals who are more likely to store excess calories as either uh, visceral fat uh, or subcutaneous fat, right? And so the, the even the partitioning within adipose is different based on genetics. And certainly the likelihood that if you are over consuming calories, um, you're going to build muscle versus store it as fat is going to be genetically somewhat determined. So yeah. it absolutely makes sense that across species, there would be these differences as well. I still, um, it's, it's my understanding that even in non-human primates and, and in rhesus monkeys, obesity is associated with shorter lifespan yeah. or overnutrition is associated mm -hmm. with shorter lifespan. And caloric restriction is associated with longer lifespan and improved health span. Um, so I don't think it's the case that even if that partitioning is a little bit different, mm. that the effects on longevity are substantially different. All right, man. Good to know. It just goes back to that. We have an extraordinary system yeah. of trying to figure out, and it's hard, mm. truth mm -hmm. through these very well-constructed clinical trials. Mm. And it's hard because people really want to do something to improve their longevity and health. And I totally understand. But, you know, there's... There's precious little. My own sense is that, you know, I don't take anything, but uh, for whatever that's worth. Um, but when you look at all the data, I think the data for humans about health span is exercise. Mm. I mean, and, and, the, and the counteracting data that I think is most impressive in humans is obesity mm -hmm. as a type of accelerated aging phenomenon. And you see that at the cellular level. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, I think that's that's a reasonable sort of high level interpretation, right? Um, that regular exercise certainly improves health span on average in humans and probably lifespan and obesity accelerates many, many diseases of aging. And, and I would suggest probably accelerates the biological aging mm -hmm. process itself. Now, again, you know, we've sort of touched on this in, in the past on the, the podcast and, you know, question of if you think about exercise and healthy nutrition and sleep and, you know, which is most important for longevity I think we don't know, yeah. right? Again, they're all Im important. So um, so I wouldn't want to, I don't think the take home from this is that exercise is the only thing that matters and you don't have to worry about these other pillars, yeah. right? But clearly it is the case that exercise is an important factor that yeah. can improve health span for most people. They're all people. legs to a bar stool. You Absolutely. Get, you get rid of one. Yeah. I remember the first time we spoke last year, I mentioned uh, the more I've learned about this field longevity, the more I'm happy that I went into exercise as a career choice originally. Yeah. I feel like I was drawn into it and it happened to be the one that's the biggest mover. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I I, I kind of go back and forth. I, I might have even said in a prior episode that I kind of think that exercise is the most important, yeah. but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I think that they're all they're all yeah. equally important, maybe and inter intertwined. I think that's the thing that 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 is mm -hmm. worth recognizing, right? Is that these things are all interconnected. And so, you know, and probably individual as well, which is going to have the biggest impact on health span going forward. It's going to be somewhat of an individual um, formula. But I, I don't think, I think the important thing is that um, you're going to get the best effects if you focus on all of them instead of trying to only think about yeah. one. Which is why I refer to the tier list video. They're on the same tier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.